Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I'm doing an impromptu segment here for my Oscar this evening. Um, he actually does this quite a bit, but I just figured I'd catch him on camera this time. Being himself. It's pretty funny, pretty entertaining. Oh, now he sees me, so he's probably going to stop doing it. Yeah, I have to ignore him for a while. He saw me, didn't he? Sorry for the player. Let me see what I got that player. So me. Ah, it's amazing how clean this tank was but a few hours ago. It's like when you leave your your dog and you go to the supermarket, pick up some groceries, come back, and the dog's gone through the trash can and knocked it over. It's kind of funny. That's what this guy reminds me of. Gets into trouble. Kind of silly. Doesn't really cause any damage, but it's pretty messy. It's pretty funny, actually. It's funny, he always does this where I cover the bottom of the tank and help clear a spot away and I'm sure you other Oscar owners out there can appreciate this. I just like to mess it up and be able to see the reflection in the bottom of the tank and just kind of trip out on themselves for a while. <laughs> I'm just going to let the camera go for a while so everybody can appreciate this. That is an Oscar. It's pretty funny and entertaining. And these fish have such personalities. They are hilarious. I'm telling you, this fish is more like a dog. I think you can see us, or see me with the camera in my hand anyway. It's silly goose. This is one of the reasons why people just love these fish. They have such personalities. I'm sure if I did, if I left for a few days and I and nobody. I said no people came into this room to pay take care of visit. He'd probably destroy this tank. I mean, uh, I don't know how, but I'm sure he'd probably uh, 
figure out how to unhook all the different things in the tank like the heater, the power head, who knows what he'd do to that, the filter, you name it. I, I've seen him literally move this entire piece of wood. Um, it's pretty funny. I think I should entitle this, uh, this video Tig the Dancing Oscar. I don't know. Maybe not. It sounds kind of silly. I don't know. We'll see. It's a beautiful fish. Um, I love the color on this fish. He, uh, he's primarily eaten cichlid pellets his entire life. I mean, I have, like I said before in previous videos, um, provided him with a variety of food. But, um, he just seems like a little guy, like maybe two inches or so. I've always given him. Um, the large floating Omega One cichlid pellets. And I um, just love the color on this fish. Beautiful. Of course, I'm kind of biased because he's my fish. Let's see if I can get it angle from the end, from the perspective from the end, I'll probably come back down here when he sees me. I don't know if you can see me though because of the way I have the light in the room. That shot glass is in there because he likes it. And he likes to push it around, believe it or not. He has spent many hours entertaining himself with that red shot glass. I've watched him push it back and forth, up and down this tank for like an hour straight sometimes, back and forth. I haven't ever been able to get it on video though because every time I do, he usually stops if he can sense that I'm close. What's up, Tig? Mm-hmm. Hey Tig, what you doing boy? Mm -hmm. Alright. I think I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in everybody.